Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I get a salon blowout at home without using a round brush. So the product I'm gonna be using today is the Hot Tools um, Professional Volumizing Blow Dry Brush. So it's like this, it's got hair all in it, like crazy. And I absolutely love this brush. I purchased mine at Ulta. It was $80 originally, but I purchased mine on Black Friday, so it was 50% off. So I actually got it for $40, and then I think it came with a free um, travel flat iron or something like that. So I know that these brushes have become very, very popular over the past year, I would say. I feel like the most talked about one is the Revlon one, which is the first one I ever purchased. So the Revlon brush was the first brush I ever purchased as far as blow dry brushes go. And in the beginning, I loved it. But then the more I used it, the more I didn't like it. And there were a few reasons why. Number one, the both brushes have a combination of the plastic bristles and the boarhead bristles. So I will move you in closer so you can see there is boar's head and the plastic. And on the Revlon one, the plastic bristles melted so fast, so fast. And then the boar's head part was so tight together that I couldn't clean it out. Because this is round, your hair is getting wrapped around. So I felt like I could never clean it. And because of that, over time when I use it, it would become very, very smoky. Like my whole bedroom would be in a cloud of dust or smoke because it just, it couldn't breathe. And um, then another thing I didn't like about the Revlon one was the cord. The cord, this cord, as you can see, I can turn it. It rotates. This whole part rotates. Great. The Revlon one, if you did this, it would rotate. But when you're using it, it wouldn't rotate. And the cord itself would literally twist. And it would become so knotted up that you constantly have to straighten it between every section because it would just get knotted in itself. So it was such a pain in the butt. And when it gets knotted up, the cord length shortens. So I felt like I was always struggling with it. So I didn't like that. And eventually I just decided to try a different brand. I didn't want to repurchase the Revlon one. I think that one was maybe $40 around. Um, it was fairly inexpensive and I think I bought it at Target. I think I bought it at Target. And the other two that I was contemplating was, or the other two I was um, looking at was the Bedhead one and this Hot Tools one. And the Bedhead one had mixed reviews and this one was so much more expensive. I think the bedhead one was like $50, $60, and then this one was $80. So I didn't want to get this one initially because I didn't want to spend $80 and then it not work like the Revlon one or give me so many problems like the Revlon one. So when I saw on Black Friday that this particular brush was 50% off, I grabbed it right away. I absolutely love this brush. It is a hundred times better than the Revlon one. So if you want to try one, definitely get this one instead, even though it is more expensive. I feel like this Hot Tools one smooths out my hair so much better than the Revlon one. The Revlon one would get my hair smooth, but this one gets my hair shiny. It gets it smooth so much faster. I just absolutely love this. And there, all these um, blow dry brushes are pretty much set up the same way. They both have the plastic bristles and the boar's head bristles, and then they all are controlled by this. So it says off, cool, low, and high, and then you just twist it to turn it on or off. So I'll show you. So you just twist it at the bottom and that's how you turn it on and off. 
There is no heat settings for this, so it is just kind of one heat setting for everybody. Um, I do own a Dyson. So people will ask me all the time, you know, do you prefer this or your Dyson? And honestly, I love them both, but for different reasons. So if I just want a salon blowout and I'm not putting hot tools to my hair, I 100% use this every single time. If I'm going to curl or flat iron my hair, then I do use my Dyson just because it's a little quicker and I don't have to work at doing a style. So I can rough dry my hair with my Dyson, whereas this you almost have to style it as you go, if that makes sense. So I use them both equally. It just kind of depends on what my hair is going to, you know, what I'm going to do to my hair for the day. So between the Dyson and this, it just depends on what I'm going to do with my hair for the day. If I'm just doing a blowout, I use this. Um, but like I said, if I'm using hot tools, then I will use my Dyson. So if you want to see how I created a salon blowout, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, my hair is damp. I like to air dry my hair as much as possible. I don't like to go from sopping wet hair straight into blow drying. I feel like the less heat you use, the better. So my hair is towel dried, um, it is damp. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I do is I put my volumizing products in just in my crown. So the only thing I have on my hair right now is leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to I'm going to zoom you out so you can see better. The crown section. And I like a lot of volume. So the crown section. And then what I do is I mix the Orbe Volumista spray. So I put that on first. And then what I'll do is I will put my Grandiose Mousse from Orbe on top. And I just do a little bit. Okay, and then I just let it sit. And then I will do about three or four sections moving forward the same, um, the same way. So volumista spray and mousse. So then what I do is I'll put my hair back and then I'll just run my fingers in my scalp so that it really gets down at the root. Okay. So then after I do that, I just part my hair going up and I will start blow drying. My hair is pretty kind of long so I'm going to try and get as much hair in the camera as possible. So. All right. And I always do mine on high heat just because my hair is very frizzy. It is longer. It is medium to thick. It's not very thick but um, I just like to do it on high heat. Now I'm going to just zoom you in so you can see 
the pieces that are done and you can see my hair is so soft it's so smooth it's shiny it feels good so let me zoom in so you can see the difference you can see this side it's very smooth shiny so pretty and then this side is the one that's before so before and after all right you guys so i'm going to keep going around my head and then when i get to the crown i will stop and explain what i'm doing why i'm doing it and how to get the most volume at the crown Okay, so now I'm going to do the crown section. I'm going to zoom you out and kind of walk you through what I do and why I do it. So with the crown section, and this is where I put all my volumizing products, I will separate it into sections just like I did when I applied my volumizing products. So I'm going from back to front. That's how I work just because um, I feel like if I go front to back, then I, I feel like I miss pieces in the back. So I'm going to work back to front and I'm going to take thin sections and the first back piece, I go up and I roll it back. So I take this straight up and then I roll it back. So just like that to get volume. And then with the front two to three pieces, I will actually blow dry in front of the hair. So I'll go up and then roll it forward. So the purpose of doing that is when you, oh, hair, when you um, roll or blow dry the opposite direction of where the hair grows, that's how you get your volume. I'm the type of person where if I just blow dry my hair normal, without product it will go flat within a couple hours so with the product and with blow drying in the opposite direction i get volume that will last three to four days which is amazing um 
So while you're watching me, just remember that the last piece, you're blow drying up and back. And then the front three to four pieces, you're going to blow dry up and forward. So this brush is going to be in the middle of my face. And that will give you so much volume. And so let's get started. I'll zoom you back in so you guys can see. So now I'm just going to just push my hair back. And there you have it. Super voluminous hair. And this blow dry will last me, like I said three to four days, depending on when I'm washing my hair, but for sure, um, two to three days, easily. And um, I don't even have to put in dry shampoo or anything like that, but it gives you such nice volume. I love it. So if you haven't used volumizing products before, um, I just wanna mention that, for example, the two that I used from Orbe, when you put them on wet hair, and as your hair starts to air dry, you will notice that your hair is sticky. And once you start putting heat to it, the brush or blow dryer, um, you will notice that stickiness will go away. And that's because these products are heat activated, which means that they're not really working their full potential until heat is applied. So now I can run my hands through, my scalp's not sticky, nothing like that. And I have great volume, which will last for the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to those of you who don't know how to do a salon blowout at your house. I think, you know, no matter what, we all do to our hair there's nothing like a salon blowout but i think this is the closest thing that you can do at home to achieve that salon blowout 
And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.